Hi, this is King David, David and Goliath Music, BeatClass.com, and this is a quick tutorial that hopefully will help you decide how to use delay on your synthesizers. It really depends on what type of track you're making and what effect you want to achieve. What does that mean? Let me just start by playing a synthesizer part for you, and then we'll decide how much delay to use or not. What I want you to do is not use this as an exact measure, but I want you to use this as a starting point to where you can apply the right amount of delay to your tracks, okay? All right, so let's listen to the delay on this particular synthesizer. Here we go. <laughs> Now the plugin I'm using is called the Trance Drive. Now obviously it's made for trance and rave style music, but I'm not using it on a trance track. So I have to decide how much of that trance style that I want to use. So right now what I'm going to do is come down to my delay area. I'm going to look and I have different effects that are applied to this particular synthesizer. I have a gator, a chorus, phaser, Blanger, Distortion, Delay, Reverb, uh, EQ, and Stereo. So what I'm going to do is just focus on the delay. All right? And right away I can see that I have way too much level on my delay. So I'm going to play it again and begin to turn it down slowly and we can hear the difference between the amount of delay that is applied. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to begin turning it down now. much different. Now I also have a decay. I want to bring down my decay a little bit. Alright, now let me bring my track in. bring my decay or my delay back up now let's put the track back in and we'll see that it doesn't actually fit this style of music all right so we're going to begin to reduce it Okay. Next thing we want to do is maybe turn down a little bit of that reverb. Good. Now it's nice and clean. Now hear it in the track. Let's go over what we did. Okay, so we chose a specific synthesizer sound. We went to the delay properties and we lowered the delay just a little bit so that there wasn't as much delay. This will work really well with certain types of hip hop crunk tracks. If you're working with a trance style music, you might want to use a little bit more of the delay as that fits more with that type of music. Then what we did is we went to our reverb and we lowered the level of the reverb. Uh, sometimes people ask me what are the correct settings. The truth is there are no correct settings. These features allow you to become an artist and paint the picture that you want to draw. Uh, and that's really important that you use and exercise your right to create your own creative vision and not rely on set parameters. There are some guidelines that you can use, but you do not have to stick to any set parameters. And what you end up with is a really unique, highly unique track that doesn't sound like everybody else's music that you hear out there. Then you can begin moving away from selling tracks for $10 and begin to create your own music production style so you can command fees for music production in the tens of thousands of dollars. This is very possible for you and it's not a pipe dream. You just have to have the patience 
to develop your craft as an artist and a music producer. All right, I'm King David, David and Goliath Music, BeatClass.com. One love. Peace. <laughs>